Okay, the Community Development Department uh, is a, what I like to think of it is, it's a, it's truly a multidisciplinary department made up of a variety of uh, professional expertise, and it serves in several, it provides very, several services and performs various functions, some of which may be a bit of a surprise to some of you. We're organized into four divisions, and let me just kind of walk you through the four areas that uh, compose or comprise uh, the community development department. Uh, first of all, we have uh, what most people, I think, uh, tend to commonly think of uh, in community development, our planning services division. This division is uh, managed by Tom Liao, our uh, planning and housing manager. And uh, it does, it performs the kinds of functions most folks typically associate with the uh, community development department. This gets into the area of zoning administration, uh, uh, various special land use permits that may be required of a particular uh, residential or commercial uh, project. They uh, review uh, each and every um, construction project that comes uh, through the city uh, in association, of course, with our building division uh, to make sure it complies with the zoning code, uh, enforces land use um, policies, and, and its staffs, um, this particular division staffs of two uh, pretty significant commissions of the city, the Planning Commission and the Board of Zoning Adjustments. It also coordinates on issues related to the California Environmental Quality Act. This is the state law that governs uh, how we review development projects to make sure they have the least possible impact on the environment. Uh, this department also does, a co this division also does a couple of other interesting things. It recently completed work on a energy efficiency program, uh, working uh, both in, with youth in the community and, and with residents, but also in coordinating some grant applications and assistance to homeowners. That program is, is wrapping up, but it's the kind of thing that uh, this group would do. Our housing division, also headed by uh, Tom Liao, um, is where we conduct uh, two really key areas uh, where we bring affordable workforce and senior housing to the community. This is the area where uh, two major functions occur. One is the development and monitoring of uh, affordable housing and our various affordable housing contracts in the community, as well as overseeing the expenditure of federal community development block grant funds, which come through uh, this division and are used to support a variety of public services and public service agencies in the community. Our building division, uh, Ensuring the safety of the community, that's exactly what they do. This is where we have uh, both engineering experts and uh, certified building inspectors to make sure that construction occurs in a way that is safe to the community, that buildings are safe, that can be used safely, and that are uh, both efficient. This is the, the division that would make sure that uh, buildings comply with energy requirements and that are uh, through uh, state regulations, and they also, interestingly, um, manage uh, and provide interconnection between the federal government and local residents in the area of flood mapping and FEMA regulations uh, with respect to the, the federal designated flood zones, and assist homeowners who may be in that flood zone uh, on options and ways in which they comply with federal laws in this area. Another uh, very interesting division in our department is business development. Our concierge to businesses um, and our catalyst for progress. Um, this is the group um, which oversees uh, business retention and attraction. Business retention, of course, being working with our local businesses in place. Key, key part of what we do, uh, it's always easier to retain a business that you already have that it is to attract a new business to the community. So that's the priority and focus, but business attraction is also a key component. This group also oversees uh, the implementation and kind of administration of the farmer's market in conjunction with the 
Downtown Association. Uh, and another new function that this group provides is, is the staff that originally uh, oversaw and implemented the various programs of the redevelopment agency. That agency now no longer exists, and this group is uh, functioning as the staff that provides support to the oversight board, which was put in place to dissolve the assets and responsibilities of the redevelopment agency over, over time. And also, this uh, division oversees uh, work uh, and the community outreach and, and kind of progress that's been made in the shoreline area. Uh, also, uh, with Lit San Leandro, I'll talk about that in just a minute. Let me focus on now on five areas. And, and while they're in the community development section of the presentation, they are by no means limited to community development. This is a, all five of what I'm just going to overview for you are uh, involved all of, basically all the departments in the city. Um, first of all is Lit San Leandro. So you, I'm sure are very familiar with it. This is our, ex our effort to expand broadband capacity in San Leandro, predominantly as, well, predominantly, I guess, as a way of attracting new, uh, new economy businesses to San Leandro, but also uh, provide a service that our local businesses already in place can take advantage of. Our, our village marketplace, uh, long in coming, uh, an effort to really uh, fill a significant retail hole in the downtown. Uh, we hope to see this project under construction uh, in the next several months. Kaiser Permanente has been a major effort of the department and other departments such as engineering uh, over the last several years. Uh, it is of course now under construction. However, we're now beginning to turn our attention to the 25 acre north parcel to see what opportunities that might provide in the area of retail, major employment. Um, it is an attractive site, 25 acres right on the freeway. It's easy, uh, uh, easy to get to. It's a hard thing to come by in, in this area. So it should be a very attractive resource. Uh, the crossings, this is a, uh, really, this is a picture of a, of a housing component, but it's a project that is really multifunctional. It includes not only uh, affordable housing resource that can be a catalyst for the, the construction of additional market rate units, but it is also uh, seen as an opportunity to provide for the expansion of a major employer in town. And lastly, uh, the shoreline development, again, multi departmental, a lot of community input over the last several years. This uh, picture just simply reflects the uh, preferred conceptual master plan. Uh, approved by the council, and we are now proceeding through the beginning stages of the entitlement process. I think that's a good quick overview. I will now turn it over to Ken, Engineering and Transportation. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 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 Thank you, Mr